I was watching Ari make all these video games for Ben. He doesn't know any coding, so I decided to use ChatGPT to see if I can make a game for Ben. This game only uses two buttons, just like Ben's controls for his other games. This is the first version of Peggle I made for Ben. I'm not technical at all. Um, I barely know how to use a computer. Uh, this was all through prompts and a lot of trial and error, but I got something to work and I like to play it. Ben, do you want to try it out? Yeah? Okay. Wait, let me finish this level and I'll let you play. <laughs> I don't even want Ben to play it. Ben had a hard time seeing the aimer. So what we did was we prompted ChatGPT to put an outline on the aimer change the color and put an arrow at the end of it. This is why it's so important to use tools like AI to make custom games for Ben, because we could keep iterating and make changes on the fly. Ben, do you like this game? No. Should we keep working on it? Yeah. So you didn't like yesterday's Peggle game? No. Okay, so Ari and I, we worked on the Peggle game some more. Let me show you. Play game. There's a lot of things to it, and you don't have like endless lives, but yeah, you made it so much better. Right. So you want to try this out, Ben? You have to show her that you're way better at games than she is. You ready? <laughs> okay, let's try it out. We just added this game to Ben's software, and he's been playing it a ton. I also updated it to work with a mouse, eye tracking, head tracking, or even facial expressions. You'll be able to play it right in your browser or on mobile. It even has a custom level editor so you can make it as easy or as difficult as you'd like. So stay tuned for the launch of our website and game library where you can play it for free. Do you love that game, Ben? Huh? Yeah, it's really fun, right? Yeah. <laughs>